YouTube, it is your boy Aaron out here with another new shoe review and today I have a pair of Common Projects Achilles Low. This is actually my second pair of Common Projects Achilles Low. I did purchase a pair way, way back in the day and I did a review I think in like 2015. However, I just thought I'd do a nice little updated version of this shoe review, especially considering this is actually a different model, a different style to what my older pair of Common Projects were and I know a little bit more about Common Projects now so I feel like I can do a better review than what I did back in the day. Plus that video is like probably two years old now, so I don't think it's too bad. But before we get into this video, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and follow my Instagram, which is at Aaron M. Monahan, because I mean, do I need a reason? Like just, just follow it. But anyway guys, let's get into the shoe itself. This shoe is obviously by Common Projects. The Common Projects box is absolutely very, very nice, very clean, very plain. One side is just plain white, the other side is plain white. Third side is plain white. This side right here has some sizing information. The bottom side is just absolutely plain. It says made in Italy. And then just on your lid, it says Common Projects. These are the Common Projects Achilles Low in the blush colorway. I purchased these ones in a size 41. I believe my old pair was a size 42 and they were way, way too big. In terms of sizing references, I'm a true to size US 9.5. These fit me absolutely perfectly, so definitely go down half a size or even a full size depending on how you like your shoes to fit. In my opinion, the 41 fits me really, really nice. I'm a true US 9.5 for sizing references and this shoe is a size 41, so definitely size down one whole size or even one and a half sizes in my personal opinion at least. I mean, I've heard a few people say stick true to size if you do have a wider foot or size down just one size. I believe my last pair of Common Projects Achilles Lows were a 42. If not, they were a 43 and the correction will be right here. And they were way, way too big for me. These actually fit me really nicely. These are the blush colorway. Taking off the lid and getting into the shoes. The first thing you can see in the box is the shoes. Here they are. I'm just gonna go through and get through all the contents of the box before we get into those shoes. So we'll be getting back into those shoes in just one second. The next thing you can see is this little tag by Luisa Viaroma, which is obviously a online store, which is where these were originally purchased. I purchased these from my friend. However, he originally purchased them from Luisa Viaroma. The next thing you can see is the dust bag, Common Projects Achilles dust bag, or the Common Projects dust bag, I should say. This is a plain, nice white dust bag. And then right on the bottom it says Common Projects and it's got the pull string to tighten this dust bag up. It's a nice dust bag. And then getting onto the paper, the paper is just a plain white paper with Common Projects is printed on it on either side. There's one printing right there, one printing right there. Underneath this paper there is just this extra paper which, I mean, it's extra paper. I don't even know what to say about that. And then the last thing you can see is a pair of spare laces. These spare laces are still 100% still intact. Common projects made in Italy written right on that paper right there. And that is all the contents of this shoe box. So I'm gonna put everything back in the shoe box, the size of the shoes, and then we'll start talking about the shoes themselves. So I'll do what I usually do on this channel, put one shoe right down here for display and then hold the other one as I speak about it. These shoes are absolutely beautiful. These are in the blush colorway, which is one of the most hyped up Common Projects colorways, the pink, and the all white colorways are the two, I guess, most sought after colorways. My last pair of common projects were like a black with like mesh in it. This is just a beautiful all leather shoe. We'll start off with the sole and get upwards. The sole is just this nice blush colorway. It is actually the same color all throughout the shoe. No differentiation in color as far as I can tell by my eyes at least. The sole is just this really nice sole. It's quite grippy, very good for everyday wear. You can tell that these haven't been worn a lot because trust me, after one wear of Common Projects Achilles Lowe's or any Common Projects shoe with this sole I'm guessing, the bottom gets absolutely so filthy. So these have been hardly worn. Moving up to the midsole area, there's this is nice rubber. This whole midsole and the sole is made up of beautiful rubber. Very, very sturdy, very nice with this nice pink stitching right throughout the whole I'll put a stitch in place. The top part of the shoe is just absolutely made out of this really nice leather in the nice blush colorway once again. This is so, so smooth. Trust me, if you've never held a pair of Common Projects, you don't know what I'm talking about. This is just a really nice soft leather. It's not like 
super, super, super ridiculously soft. But in my opinion, there's that absolutely nice quality leather. It features this nice toe box right here, which is just the one piece of the toe box that goes up into the tongue. And it has some nice paneling right here as you get into the laces. And it has these two big areas right here for the main area of the shoe. There's one stitched on the heel area right there. On the other side of the shoe, you can see the common projects and gold numbers right there, which is, of course, the famous Common Projects branding. This says 1528412015. 41 is the size. And then the other two are like model numbers, I believe, from memory. Taking out the shoe tree so you can see the inside of these shoes. The inside is still made out of this beautiful, beautiful blush colorway right here. The back is just this nice suede. Or new bug. And the rest of the inside of the shoes is made out of that nice blush leather. The only difference is that this one is a little bit more padded on the inside than the outside because obviously when you have your feet in the shoe, they need a bit of padding. The tongue is actually nice and padded as well with that padded pink leather right there. The sole of these shoes are also made out of that nice blush pink leather. And then just on the inside in the gold, it says Common Projects Made in Italy. These shoes are absolutely really, really good quality. The laces are in this nice slightly less loud, slightly more dull blush colorway right there. It has these nice plastic tips on the end of the laces. The laces are quite nice. This shoe is very good quality. I believe Common Project shoes run about like four or five hundred dollars when you buy them on retail. I believe Common Projects run around four hundred or so dollars to five hundred dollars retail. I purchased these for I think three hundred dollars. You can find these shoes in a really good condition, barely used for a really good price. I think I saw my last pair for probably like two hundred US dollars, so not really expensive at all. They're just a beautiful shoe. You can't go wrong with a nice pair of Common Projects Achilles Lowe's. Just a very versatile shoe. You can dress them up, you can dress them down. I'm going to show you a quick on foot look of these shoes as well right now. And anyway guys, that is the Common Projects Achilles Low in the blush colorway. Super, super nice shoe. A shoe which definitely should be in everyone's wardrobe or at least a shoe that people have tried out in their wardrobes at least. These shoes are a very slim shoe. They're very good for wearing in the summer with say crop trousers or even shorts. I haven't really seen too many people really be able to pull them off with like baggier pants, but I haven't really seen too many people wear them with baggier pants. I mean, it could probably be done really, really well as well. They're bagging and just draping over the shoe. I don't know. I really like these shoes. Very, very nice. Common Projects Achilles Low. I just figured I'd go ahead and do a second review on the Common Projects Achilles Low because I know a little bit more about them now. I've had a pair. This is my second pair. I just figured it would probably be worthwhile for me to do a second review on these shoes just because the first time I got these shoes, I didn't really know too much about them. They were my first like designer shoe, my first like kind of expensive shoe. The only shoes I had before my first pair of common projects were like Air Force Ones and I think I had like Stan Smiths and Old Schools. So these were my first like kind of like more like higher class, like dressier kind of sneaker. They're very nice sneakers though. Definitely something you should actually at least consider buying if you are in the market for a nice high quality shoe that will last you a long time. Very, very nicely constructed, made in Italy, beautiful shoes, really nice price point, common projects, it probably is low, in the blush colorway. That's all I have to say about them. My name is Aaron, subscribe if you're new to the channel, follow my Instagram which is at AaronMonahan, I think I said that at the start of the video, but oh well. Thanks so much for watching, I'll see you guys in the next one, and peace.